You can view your photos in a few different ways in Lightroom CC. When you want to see lots of photos at once, you'll like the grid view. Make sure you've selected the source of photos that you want to view. That may be all photos, or recently added, or by date, or if you're following along with the sample files for this tutorial, choose the album of sample files that we made when we first imported these files into Lightroom CC. You can switch between views down at the bottom of the screen in the toolbar. The first icon there is a grid view called Photo Grid, and that's what we're looking at now. Photo Grid displays your photos in a grid pattern like this with no borders or information around the images, so you can focus on just your photographs. In this view, you can quickly see which photos are vertical, which are horizontal, and which are square, or any other aspect ratio. You can make the photos larger or smaller in the grid by going down to the toolbar where there's a thumbnail slider on the right. Dragging the thumbnail slider to the right will make the photos bigger, and then you can use the scroll bar to scroll up or down. Dragging the thumbnail slider to the left will show you more of your photos, but they'll be smaller. You can also change the order in which photos are displayed in the grid by going over to the Sort menu here in the toolbar and choosing a different sort order or reversing the order. If you'd rather see your photos in a more regular grid, then in the toolbar, click the second icon from the left, which is a different grid view, the square grid. The square grid displays all your photos in squares like this, whether they're horizontal or vertical or any aspect ratio and they all appear uniform. In this view, you can see some information about each photo. For example, if you've added a star or a flag to a photo, and you hover over that photo, like this one, you'll see the stars or flags highlighted under the photo. You can also add stars or flags from here. And notice that there is a check mark over here. That's the sync icon. The check mark means that syncing is complete on this photo, and the photo is now backed up to the cloud. If I make a change to a photo, that change will sync up to the cloud too. So keep your eye on this sync icon as I click on the pick flag under this photo to add a flag that means it's one of my favorites. Notice that the sync icon is now a blue icon, meaning that the sync is taking place. When the sync is finished, this will change back to a check mark. Now, when you're reviewing photos to choose one to edit or to share, you'll sometimes want to see it in a larger view. In that case, Select a photo. I'm going to select this photo of the rings and then go down to the toolbar and click the detail view icon here. You can change the zoom level of a photo in detail view by just clicking on the photo. And that will change the zoom with focus on the portion of the photo where you clicked. In this case, I'm working with a large photo and so it's zoomed in. When you are zoomed in on a large photo like this, you probably won't see the whole thing in your window. So you can move the photo around in the window by clicking, holding, and dragging it. And that's called panning. Then, if you want to zoom out to see the whole photo again, click one more time on the photo. Another way to change the zoom level is to come down to the icons here, fit, fill, and one-to-one, -one, and just click on the view that you want. So when I'm checking the focus on the photo or sharpening a photo, I'll usually go to one-to-one -one view, and then when I want to see the whole photo in the window, I'll click on Fit View. You probably noticed that when we switched to Detail View, we got this film strip under the large photo. The film strip contains thumbnails of all the photos that are in the selected source. And you can switch to see a large view of any of these photos by clicking on it in the film strip. If the film strip contains more photos than fit on your screen, go to the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen and drag and you can access other photos that way. If you don't see the photo that you're looking for in the film strip, that means it's not in the source that you selected over here. So you might click on All Photos, and you'd have access to all the photos that you've added to Lightroom CC from any device. Now one more thing, as you get used to working in Lightroom CC, you may want to speed up your workflow by using some shortcuts rather than clicking on icons. And those are G for Grid and D for Detail. Pressing G takes you to one of the grid views, pressing G again will take you to the other grid view, and pressing D will take you to the large detail view of whatever photo is selected at the moment. So that's an overview of how to view your photos in the Lightroom CC 
desktop app.